Hello and welcome. I'm Shane Milach from IamImpact.com and this is my supplemental video for my Magic Submitter review. As usual, I'll just give you a quick walkthrough of the software to, so you can see it in action and get a good idea of what exactly it does and what it's like to work with it. So to begin with, you'd start by creating a profile and there's an automatic profile creation uh, module here. So you open this up and you basically click on Fill Profiles and it fills out most of the information for you. Then all you have to do is add a URL. So that would be the main URL of your website you want to promote with this profile, company name, and maybe a short description. Then it goes ahead and it creates this email account for you. And it uses all of this data here, you know, the username, the password, and all that that you have in here. It uses this data for all the accounts we'll then create later on. So I've already set up a demo account. I'm ca going to cancel this and show you the next step, which would be to select a service that you want to submit to. And here's an overview over what you can select. There are article directories, bookmarking services, free blogs, uh, mail services, that's if you want to create more email addresses for this profile. You have uh, RSS aggregators, RSS directories, uh, videos, that's um, uploading videos to video sharing sites, expression engine profiles, PR sites, that, that would be um, press release sites in this case, then we have WordPress blogs. These are like article directories, but based on WordPress. So that's WordPress blogs where you can submit your own articles. Then we have microblogs, that's Twitter and similar. And then we have StatusNet microblogs, that's a particular platform for microblogging. It's also just like Twitter, you can send out short messages, including links. And then we have PDF sharing sites. So these are all the, the different types of th sites that you can submit to using Magic Submitter. The next step is now to create accounts. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to select, uh, let's say, bookmarking services. And I'm just going to select a bunch of these. Obviously, you could just select all of them and tell it to create accounts for all of them. But I don't want this to take too long. So I'm just going to select a, a handful here and then tell it to create accounts. What happens is it opens this window and runs several browsers in parallel. And you can select the number of browsers it runs, uh, anything between 1 and 16. And depending on, you know, depending on how strong your computer is and how much bandwidth you have, because obviously the more simultaneous processes you run, the more resources it will require. So here it basically opens all of these sites in browser windows and automatically clicks through the submission process. And you can, you know, there's this indication here, blue frame means that it's done, a red frame means that there's some type of error, a yellow frame means it's solving the CAPTCHA. Um, but obviously you don't have to sit here and watch this. Uh, this is, you can click on create accounts and you can walk away. The only thing you need to do to make it hands-free is you need to uh, set up a CAPTCHA solving service like DCAPTCHA or Death by CAPTCHA or something like that. And uh, so you don't have to, you know, sit here and solve CAPTCHAs. But if you if you do that, then you can literally just click on create accounts and walk away and come back when it's finished, right? Now, because I only selected a handful of the sites, uh, the submissions are now done. And I can um, exit this. Over here, you can quickly see which submissions worked and which ones failed. Obviously, there's always going to be ones that don't work out. Uh, but the success rate is pretty good from what I've seen so far. So you'd go through all of these types of services that you want to submit to. And if you want to submit to all of them, you just select the first one, select all of the sites here, click on create accounts and come back a few minutes later when it's done. The next step would be to have the emails automatically confirmed. So for many accounts, when you create the accounts, they, you get an email with a confirmation link that needs to be clicked before the account is active. Now, the best thing to do is just to wait for a few minutes after you've created the accounts, wait for a few minutes to make sure that all the emails have arrived, and then you simply click on Read Emails. It will automatically open this window here. It will, in the background, connect to the inbox, and it will go through all of the emails and click all of the uh, confirmation links that it finds automatically. Once that's done, the next step is submission. So now you have accounts created and confirmed, and now you can simply submit articles to the article directories, bookmarks to the bookmarking sites, and so on. And the way to do this is you click on Manage Items. So if I select Article Directories and click on Manage Items, uh, then I can add a new article here. And article title, article summary, and so on. And you can use spin text in all of these fields. And depending on which uh, type of 
service you choose here so for bookmarking sites if I add a new one there's bookmark title bookmark URL and so on so the fields here change depending on which type of service I select here so you can fill this up with content and then set it off to submit and the submissions work exactly the same as the account creations meaning it opens this browser or it opens this window with several browsers running at the same time doing all of these submissions now two more things that are interesting here is first of all the scheduler there is a scheduler in here so you can set it up um, to run scheduled tasks Now, as you can see right from this it is not as simple as like a diagramming tool that you might be familiar with from SE Nuke X. Uh, it does take a bit more setting up. It is what what I really like about it is that you can set it up to, for example, always run at night. The scheduler in Magic Submitter gives you a lot more like, exact control over what the program is going to do than the one in SE Nuke X. And but it does take a little more uh, legwork to set it all up. Another interesting feature worth mentioning is that there's the so-called designer where you can add your own sites to any of these categories. You can add your own sites and you can uh, set up, you can basically teach Magic Submitter what it has to do to register for those sites, to submit content to those sites and so on. Again, this is something, you know, there's a lot of potential here. You can add tons of your own sites, obviously, but it does require um, it does require a bit of setup. You, you need to have something like Scrapebox to find all of these sites probably and then you need to take the time to set up the proper um, you know, registration commands, submission commands and so on before this will start really working for you. Alright, so that's my overview and walkthrough of Magic Submitter. For the rest of the information, check out my blog post and my extensive review of Magic Submitter.